Well, hey guys, welcome to Hoover's on the Move. And guess what? We are here today in the beautiful area of Bolivar Peninsula. And I come to show you a little bit of what to do around here and this cute little Airbnb, Airbnb um, that, again, my daughter has rented for her birthday and Mother's Day weekend. We're all gonna come hang out. And uh, so we wanted to bring you guys along with us and let you see what you can do when you're here in the Galveston kind of sort of area. Um, so anyway, let's check out this Airbnb. Uh, I'll leave some of the details down below when you book this one then they'll actually give you the official address but um, I just kind of like to give you some of the perspectives of what some of the Airbnbs are that we tend to hang out in so my son here say hi Hudson <laughs> is gonna take over so that way um, I can kind of show you around a little bit so come this way This is a nice little covered porch, which is really great, um, you know, for those rainy days, which we've been having a lot of here lately. Uh, this, you know, is um, in the May month. Uh, and then you'll have a cute little table out here so you can enjoy the area. Um, they do have a barbecue pit. It is, uh, you know, charcoal grill. And now we're gonna walk in. So, I have their pooch. So, okay. So when you first walk in the doors, you're gonna have a nice little desk, some cool artwork right by the door. We have a TV on the wall. It does have central air and heat. Nice couch, living room kind of area. Go lay down. Then we have this cute bar. Nice countertops. They did. And beautiful kitchen area with lots of cabinet space. If you take a look, it already has plates, and napkins, cups. The food we brought. Just FYI, does have a microwave. Um, a nice double sink. Nice double sink, stove, washer and dryer so you can wash all your goods. Um, and a huge residential refrigerator. That's pretty nice. Then if you come this way, this is where you'll have some of your linen closet stuff, so then that way you can kind of clean up after yourselves, guys. This is all hardwood floors. This goes up to the main house. It's all locked up, just to let you know. It does have central air and heat, like I said. So here's all your gizmos and gadgets. This is the hallway. Then when you come into the first door, this is going to be the main bedroom where all the action happens. So, has a nice big king size bed, some cute little artwork on the wall again. The clothes uh, are what we brought. <laughs> has some dresser, little bitty TV screens, but we don't uh, usually spend a lot of time in our rooms anyway. So, we got a pamphlet for I guess stuff to do in and Houston, which would be cool. Then in this room, they also have a closet with no light. But there, is, there is a closet in there. There is a closet. With an extra trundle bed, an extra blankets, an iron, ironing board, that kind of thing that, you know, you might need. Come on, Spike. Okay. 
So when you come to this part of the hallway, there's two doors. This one, if you come walk in here, it's a really nice bathroom. Towels. Uh, sorry, the fan automatically kicks on, but it has a nice vanity sink. And here we have, of course, the toiletry. And then a shower tub area. So that's awesome. And then when we leave there, we have the second bedroom. The second bedroom will have a nice little bunk bed set. And then we have another bed in here as well. And then it's going to have its own closet with extra pillows. And it also has the Looms TV too. And it has a room TV in here as well, which is quite, you know, little bitty. This does have a full length mirror though, which is quite nice. Hi guys. So with that, that's the little tour of this little house. It's cute, you know. Um, it ran them about $300 for two nights. Um, and um, it's close to Bonavar, I'm, I'm, Tearing that up. Bolivar Peninsula. It's close to Crystal Beach um, and about 30, 30 minutes, I think, from the ferry um, to cross over to the Galveston mainland. We came the other direction, so um, we didn't have to cross the ferry. But uh, with that being said, I think we're going to pause for the cause, bring in our stuff for the night, because we're going to have a game night and a family night. Um, but we're also going to have some fun out on the beach and things like that. So we're going to bring you guys along with us. And uh, we hope everybody's having a wonderful Mother's Day weekend. Um, I know with you guys seeing this, um, it's after Mother's Day. But um, my kiddos wanted us to come out and hang out. And so that's what we're doing. We're going to hang out together. And uh, what I can film, I'll film. And we're going to just share it with you guys. So... Hoover's on the move is out for the moment. Bye. So take a look at this. It is high tide right now, guys. High tide. So water is really right here. And look at that. These are some serious waves. We're down here on Crystal Beach. Look at this. It is high. And there's Mr. Daniel and our family. Oh, it's a little chilly, Billy. Very doable, though. Oh, this is going to be a fun weekend. Crab festival's going on right now over here. So. Take a look at the boys. What are y'all building? I showed you that one and now Andy and then Andy showed this one and then I saw this one and so now I'm just thinking of it like kind of like an ocean like that. Ah, you're there. making your own ocean. This is what you see in Galveston. Look at this. This is what we're dealing with. <laughs> so they had the speakers, but they turned the speakers around to face them instead of out the back of the truck. Like Beach. 
doing? What you doing? Oh, you don't want to get in the water? No. Oh, you want the sand? Come on. Look at this. I like that magnolia. What is it? It's a magnolia tree. Well, good morning, everybody. Look at that. <laughs> Mr. Daniel's tall enough to be able to grab it. Yep. Well, good morning, guys. Day two. Hey. And, um, we're just uh, out doing a little walk and chilling with the family. Last night we finished out um, with some card games and a fun time. So yeah. we're gonna take you guys along with us. We found this cute little um, bird sanctuary, sanctuary. Yeah. and um, and uh, we wanted to bring you along and just kind of show you what's available around here because this is just literally one block from the house that we rented. Remember, um, you saw the little tour so come on let's go yep let's go go oh. Oh. Aww. boy scouts put this together yep surprising We have picnic tables. Oh, those are meaty. Whether is that even the thing? Leave no trace piece. Leave no trace piece. Pack out what you pack in. That's right. Remember that always. You leave yep. it is better than which you seen it. Yep. Any trash you see? Oh, Welcome wow. to the party. Oop. Now remember, no dogs, guys, on this one. No, no dogs. And it says set your phones to silent. I have no phone. <laughs> I have no phone, but it's not on me. Oh, I think we should go on this way. You want to go this way? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. All right, let's go this way. Now we're It's a nice boardwalk. What does that say? Bessie's Pond. Bessie's Pond. Oh, Bessie's Pond, US 1993. Mmm. Probably was in the war or something. Like that. Looks like a mosquito pond to me. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, mosquito pond. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, 
Make sure you guys wear bug spray. We put bug spray on, but we're still kind of, they're still kind of getting us. Where'd our wood go? Um, nowhere. We're leaving. Look at the dark tunnel of trees. So it opened up. Look at this. Smells like honeysuckle out here. I used to be scared of things this high up. Not anymore. I'm getting. Oh, what are we doing? Um, let's let's take a five. Right now we found. Um, it's a beautiful place with a lot of wheat. I have wheat. You think it's wheat? Yeah, I can't tell what it is from you. No, that's Very not cool. Wheat. And some. We can donate to them. Flowers. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's a nice view from you. Awesome. That's for a donation. What do you think, Andrew? What do you think about this, bud? You think it's beautiful? I like it a lot. And if you look behind us, we got a whole bunch of messy trees. Oh, messy trees, he says. I don't think it's wheat. Messy, messy. I don't think it's <laughs> you don't think what? I don't think it's wheat. You don't? No. What I, do you think it is? It looks like wheat. All of that? Yeah. No, the long stuff is what he's talking about. <laughs> All right. I think that's just long grass. You think it's just long grass? Yeah, probably. Oh, it might be wheat, whichever one. Hmm. Okay. Well, if you know what it is, let us know in the comments down below. Yellow. Look what we just found. Yeah. All together like a little bouquet of flowers. It's like, that is so pretty. It's like a patch of flowers. Right. Along with the honeysuckles back there. You don't see the, those every day. That is amazing. Take a look at this. Oh my goodness. Andy thinks this is an alligator pit. I don't think it is. I don't see nothing. Is it an alligator pit? Maybe. What is that? Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little home vlog. Um, I know it's not something we typically do, but, um, because we had the Airbnb, we wanted to, you know, kind of share it along with you guys. Um, yeah, cause of, we, we do all around travel. Right, so, right. you know, and there's, there's a lot of y'all out there that, that watch us just because we're all around travel. And one of the things we like to do is, you know, we'll, we'll travel somewhere and just get an Airbnb or something like that. So. You know, it's kind of kind of nice to know what you have available in the area. Exactly. That, uh, that, that you know, and how nice the stuff is, how much it costs, and what it's near, and all right. that stuff. So, so this one, you guys saw the little tour of it. Um, I, rating it, 
it for the price I think was um, was pretty pretty good for two nights on really really close to the beach it was only literally a mile to the beach um, you know it was it was a three hundred dollar total for the two nights the cleaning fee and all that good stuff I mean everybody's done an Airbnb at least once yeah. most likely so you kind of know there's those little charges so you know for the price it, it was a pretty good deal you know it's it's a it's two bedroom Correct. one bath it's only what about a mile down from the, the beach yes and uh, of course you know the further you go down towards Crystal Beach and and all that you know it gets a little more populated and a little more uh, activities and stuff going on just like the craft festival that they had going on down there yeah. at the time uh, so there were there were quite a few people there but it didn't feel like you were cramped it, in no or it didn't feel overcrowded uh, we had a I mean we were able to park really uh, close to the beach you know I mean it was it, uh, right there yeah, on you Crystal park beach. on the beach you drive and park on the beach so anyway I think um, there was plenty of things to do there you can it's like we said the house was about a mile from the fishing beach I guess I should have been a little bit more clear you can walk along it and things you just can't I wouldn't I wouldn't advise swimming there um, but you can fish from from right there you have to drive further down to Crystal Beach area which is where we were when we were playing with the grandkids that you guys saw um, then you get all the sandy beaches yeah, and stuff and, and that's where the people are that are all out there swimming and stuff right uh, you still have fishermen out there too of course you know but uh yeah and you get a ten dollar pass if you buy the ten dollar pass yes it's good for a year correct so you'll have to get the little sticker to put up on your dash so that way you can park there at on on the beach itself but it's good for one year the good thing about it is though the um I, we didn't have one so we just parked next to our kids um and then eventually they came around and if you didn't have one they had you know they had you go ahead and purchase one so you know um you didn't have to go find some place to go and buy it at or whatever i know that there's a couple of um, stores there along the strip that you can actually stop at and purchase one but um but they also had somebody going up and down the the beach yeah. area just to t double check and then you can purchase one and stick it on your window and you're good to go so that was nice it was convenient to be able to do that so and then from the house um, you guys got to get to, you know you just got little snippets of things okay so um, there at the house just a block away was um, a really neat little bird arborarium sanctuary place that the boy scouts have put together there's a couple of them in the area but that one was just literally right around the corner from us and um that was super cool like it's all marshland and um so they have those boardwalks on 90 percent of the walkways so it was really neat to be able to walk around there now this is the time of year where there are mosquitoes so you're definitely gonna have to spray yourself down trust me we sprayed down and we still um, you know kind of got a little few mosquito bites but it was so fun and the kids loved it being able to just you know run on the boardwalk and um, pick out different flowers and talk about the birds they saw and that kind of thing so that was kind of neat I, I enjoyed it I would have done that one, done it again if you know we're back over there so that was uh, fun. and it was a nice walking path too yeah it, it yeah. was pretty cleared out and then you know like if you needed to take a stroller for a child or whatever you could very very easily um taken a stroller and been able to get through the pathways and things and so that was that was cool so anyway um we just wanted to say hey and um i hope everybody had a wonderful mother's day happy mother's day i know it's a couple weeks after but we just um you know we needed to celebrate a little bit of a mother's day too and um um, so I hope everybody enjoyed themselves a couple, you know, last weekend or the weekend before. Um, and I think until next time, yeah. we have another, we have some more surprises coming up guys and keep watching our videos on 
uh, the Ruby Princess. It gets so good. We had so much fun on there. So um, definitely, definitely, you know, stay tuned and uh, keep yeah, up with just, us with Ruby Princess. We just took a break this week to, to do a Mother's Day thing because that's what that's what this whole trip was going yes. down there and the Airbnb and all that was for all you mothers out there and, and uh, just to say thank you to y'all guys. So <laughs> we took a, a one week. Uh, bereavement from yeah. the Ruby Princess so next week we'll be yes. back on Ruby Princess that's again. right so make sure to stay tuned because next Monday we're gonna have Ruby Princess back up and running again so um, and then we have some more surprises coming along throughout the year so definitely stay tuned to us and uh, we'll bring you some wonderful content and uh, I think on that note Hoover's on the move we're out we're out <laughs>